Amanda started losing her sight at just 26 years old. I was lying on how to take my driving test. Um, I had failed a couple of times, but as it got progressively on, I sat on test about three times, four times, and I was having to get a machine tape um, to, for the distance for the licence plate check, and I knew myself there was something wrong. Um, I had went to the opticians a couple of times, and they just said I had to wear my glasses a lot more, um, I was having to focus a lot more and concentrate. Um, so I went to a different opticians, and that's when I found out I had star gash. I wasn't really, I was quite oblivious to it to begin with, I was quite in denial with it. Um, it's not knowing if there was any treatments or anything for it either. So until I was getting referred to the hospital, it was when it kind of started sinking in. So I was, I was heartbroken. I was quite emotional. It's a macular degeneration. Um, apparently it's, they said it wouldn't deteriorate until I was a bit older. Um, but uh, over the last four years it's deteriorated quite drastically. I'm still emotional because I worry about going outside when it's too bright because the light affects me, the glare. I was burying my head in the sand. I didn't really speak to anybody about it. The work aspect was to begin with, the, the main reason I got in touch with Sight Scotland because I didn't know what I was going to do work-wise. I'm very independent. I like to be in work. I've always, from a very young age, been working. But just knowing the equipment and the help and supports out there that Debbie's offered, even she's went over and above. So that itself is it's looking brighter it's it sounds silly but it's known that i'm not going to do it on my own it's like she's a friend that's always there and um, she's just been an absolute gem to even just turn to to talk to when even if i need a rant or if i'm needing a bit of advice or because i didn't know what i needed everybody kept asking me what i needed didn't know what i needed <laughs> so she's guided me in a few of things that she thinks i could potentially need in the future or need now She's been an absolute godsend. I don't know what we've done without her. My family, they can talk to me, and but they don't know what I'm going through on a daily basis. So having someone to speak to that actually fully understands, it's amazing how just talking to someone can make you feel as if you've got a weight off, off your shoulders. Talking to my family, they've been amazing and supportive of me, but there's only so much that they can know what to do, what to say. I struggle sometimes with being a single parent so and having sargars. So being able to get help with the equipment that I'm needed and They've worked with it, they've done it over the years, so they know what suits me, what suits everybody else, and everything. Every eye disease might be different, but having the funding to help is massive. I couldn't have had all the equipment that I would be able to do cooking, cleaning, all the stuff to help. Being independent would be the best way to describe it. I want to try to be as independent as I can while well I can, so having the equipment helps me do that. It took me my time to do it, but I would definitely ask anybody to go and get the help and advice and support they need, because I was in denial for a while for it and I should have just got the help and support and stop swallow your pride that's exactly what I had to do and I'm glad I did because there's so much support out there and the Sight Scotland support line has 100% changed my view and you're not on it alone you've always got a friend you've always got someone to help support you even just a need to listen uh, I've not been able to do this without them and it's gave me so much more confidence on asking for help and swallowing my pride and I just think that they're huge. No one should face sight loss alone. You can help make sure another person like Amanda always has someone to turn to. Please give today at someone to turn to.org.